We have seen for the first time something that most people thought that would not be possible to see. And it is when two units, so to speak, react uh, to form a chemical reaction and, and uh, you form a bond, to actually see the molecules interacting in this state that is called the transition state. Most of the time it's thought that the, the, the barrier that actually prevents them to form the bond, you have to have enough energy to overcome that barrier. It's, it's a little bit like rolling a ball uphill over a barrier and then on the other side, it, it will be very difficult to have the ball to stay, stay there on the top. And for that reason, there always been thought that the transition state is not possible to see. And uh, now we can see it. So we performed this experiment at the LCLS, the X-ray laser here at SLAC. We choose here to, to look at how the carbon monoxide molecules react with oxygen to form CO2. And it's a reaction that actually most people carry out every day in their car because we are burning CO as an exhaust gas into CO2 on a catalyst. Uh, that actually is in the exhaust system. For this particular experiment, you use a catalyst, which is a flat surface. The CO and the oxygen is actually bonded to the surface, and then they're in close proximity with each other. To start the reaction, we come in with an optical laser pulse, and then we come in with the X-ray laser to actually probe what happened. So when we have the right delay between the optical laser and the X-ray laser, uh, when the molecule has proceeded in the reaction long enough, we can actually see the transition state. So a CO molecule and an oxygen atom are actually brought together on the surface and then they are colliding to form a bond between them uh, which then generates CO2 that flies off into the, uh, into the gas phase. So at the transition state is of course exactly where in the middle of this where you have now started to form a weak bond between the CO molecule and the oxygen and also weaken the bond to the substrate. It's like a compromise a little bit um, between the reactants and the product. So the transition state is what we can consider the holy grail in chemistry because chemical reactivity is actually controlled by the transition state. So catalysis is a big industry and today we want to develop new catalysts and with a more understanding of the transition state and the ability to model that we might be able to predict and come up with better new catalysts.